So here's the thing, a lot of people think that to solve numericals very fast or very accurately, you need to have some special kind of skills. A lot of people also ask me to make a video on special techniques that you need to know to solve numericals very fast. Now here's a little bit of my background story. I cracked a competitive examination named ISRO. Over there, there are 80 questions to be solved in 90 minutes. The most common um, uh, pattern of competitive examination, especially when it comes to PSUs and BRCI, so every examination other than gate examination, that almost one question, one minute. In ISRO, it is offline system, so you are definitely going to require more than 10 minutes to fill the bubbles, okay? Now, I was super poor when it comes to solving numericals, when it comes to making silly mistakes and inaccuracy while solving problems, I was the topper. Okay, I was very bad in solving numericals very fast. I used to make a lot of silly mistakes. And the reason how you can understand that is true is because in 2017, I did not perform that well in gate examination. My rank was 1825. Okay, but still, that that is not making me eligible to crack any PSU or anything like that. But still, I was able to crack BARC written test. And the sole reason why I credit it is because BARC has a higher selection ratio. That if one person is going to get selected into BARC, then for that 20 people are going to appear for the interview. And the interview is independent of the written test. That makes the written test much easier. That means I was having an easier time cracking BARC written test. Now, since BARC interview was independent of the marks in the written test, I was able to prove them that I'm good in mechanical engineering. All right. So obviously, if scientists of BARC are selecting me for getting into the training school of BARC training school, right, definitely I'm good in engineering. But I was bad in solving numericals in limited amount of time. This was another reason why I was I failed in ISRO 2017. That happened in May 2017. Also, another proof is that in IIT Bombay, I appeared for RA, written test and interview. So in written test, 126 people got selected to go for the interview round. My rank was 116. But when it happened in the interview, it was like some percentage of weightage is going to be given to the gate score. Some per percentage of weightage is going to be given to the written test score. And uh, some percentage will be given to the interview. But in interview, I was again able to prove myself so well that I was, I was good in mechanical engineering that ultimately what my rank came out to be was 10 in that RA. Even though I was 120, uh, 116 when only 126 people got selected in the written test. That means at the end, right? So obviously I was good in engineering, but I was bad in solving numericals very fast. Now comes ISRO where I really wanted to be, but over there, the first round was written test and the written test you need a lot, a huge amount of speed, 80 questions in 90 minutes, right? And I've already failed in that before. And also the selection ratio of ISRO is half the selection ratio of BARC. That means only 1 is to 10. If one person is going to get selected into ISRO, only 10 people will be called for the interview. So for me to move to a from a position where I'm very bad in solving numericals in a limited amount of time, I have to go to a position where I have to be literally one of the best in solving numericals in a limited amount of time. Now, how I was able to achieve that level? I did not read any book on Vedic mathematics, okay? Also, I did not watch a YouTube video which was telling me tricks of how to solve numericals very fast or how to make, how to not make silly mistakes or how to improve your accuracy. What I did was a rigorous amount of practice. I practiced day and night whatever new question I used to get. I used to practice it and not any new question. I used to solve all the previous year questions from let us say ISRO, engineering services, PSU, gate, whatever new question I used to get, I used to solve all of them and a lot of them multiple times. The star mark question, I've talked about it in the star mark question video that after one to two months of you putting the star in a typical question, difficult question will seem almost like a new question and I used to solve all of them. And if you look especially for mechanical engineering, the question bank of the previous year questions is huge. A lot of people will be buying these questions banks made by a lot of coaching institutes which are made by faculties of those coaching institutes or the content development team i never suggest people to buy those because those are made by people who are not actually going to set any question paper of any competitive examination right 
but what you should become get better at is solving questions which have appeared in competitive examination and thankfully for core branches there's an abundance of such questions see here's the thing that you need to understand that type of questions in this world is infinite there are a few questions which will take hours for you to solve there are a few questions that will take just one minute for you to solve there are questions that will take three minutes there are questions that will take five minutes there are questions in the back page or the behind of a particular chapter of pk nag or any good reference book there are questions which any book uh, in the books of local reference books there are questions of previous year questions and there are questions made by some coaching institute by some content development team infinite number of types of questions but you do not need to be good at solving infinite types of questions you have to be good at solving one particular type of questions a particular type of questions which is having let us say question given and then four options which is going to take let us say one to two minutes for you to solve it does not mean if you're good at solving the questions of pk nag book you'll also be good at solving the questions of gate examination yes it will help your concept is, is improving but when you try to solve those kind of questions it is not necessary that you are going to be best or one of the best in solving that kind of question when you face the question of a gate examination or isro examination so what i'm trying to say is that you have to become good at solving a particular type of question so that is best done by the previous year questions or that kind of examination a bracket of examination for example gate engineering services ISRO, BARC questions you will not be able to find, but PSUs, these are all going to give you same level of questions, almost the same system. Other than gate examination, all the questions will be one question, one minute. You have to solve it. Most of them will be having no calculator utilization. So you should be good at solving that. And the only way you become good at solving those questions is by solving more and more of them. Right now, here's the thing. I can tell you a trick, like how to find two to the power something, point something. I have a trick down my sleeve that I use. I have few tricks that I use while, sol while solving some logarithmic values, okay, that is used to solve without calculation. But those are the tricks that I devised. I, if I tell you right now, you won't be able to apply it in examination. The only way you'll be able to do it if you find your ways. That is the one that you'll be able to apply that is why i say that you should be solving more and more questions because when you do that and when you force yourself to solve those questions without calculator you will be able to develop those tricks that are, that are good for you that are comfortable for you which finally you are going to be able to use in your competitive examination right so it is very important for you to practice it is very important for you to understand what to practice and while you're practicing force yourself to solve it without calculator and that will inevitably going to increase your practice over time and it is going to increase your speed it is going to improve your accuracy a lot of people have this problem and they think that this is only a problem for them others are able to solve problems very accurately without making any silly mistakes but i've taken seminars and i've just asked people seminars having like 50 to 70 to even 100 people sitting in a room and i just asked them raise your hands who are the people who are facing problems while having good accuracy or making less silly mistakes or solving problems very fast majority of people raised hand that was around 70 to 80 percent of people these are not minorities like you might be thinking that i'm among the minority that i'm not able to solve problems very fast or very accurately but actually you are among the majority and there are some who will not need as much practice because they are naturally developed in that manner maybe they were good in the, till their 12th standard or they also prepared for it examination or something like that but if you have not done that now, now is the time for you to invest time in that and develop that threshold amount of practice that you require okay so it can everything improves with that only like i said the story already i've told you that i was terrible at this but i was able to reach a level when my final third attempt of history examination i was all india rank 85 when it came to written test under 100 right i was able to reach that level and my first attempt of isro i think i did not even qualify my marks was 111 when the cutoff was 139 so you can understand how much difference I can create in just one year. You understand? You can also do that, but that practice is absolutely must. And there is no other secret for you to improve your accuracy or to decrease your silly mistakes. You just need to practice. Now, moving to the...